G O B. Welcome to another GOB course blog. I'm your host, Sons and Guns, here at Twisted Gun in Southern West Virginia. This is part two, uh, holes 10 through 18. If you haven't already, go check out part one. Play some good golf and bad golf. But let's just go ahead and jump right to this next team. Hole 10, par 3 to start out this back nine. Uh, downhill, green slopes away from me, but no fear. Just punch a little five wood down to the bottom of the hill. A little bit kind of thin, but got to the front of the green regardless. Green regulation. Trying to run that birdie putt up there. Just ends out to the left. Get up here. Par. Good start. Hole 11 par for water right, out of bounds left. Just want to play my standard cut and uh, accomplish that first goal. Unfortunately, it just does roll out into the rough. In turn, these are my club face to be sprung open, and I end up just a tad short. So I confidently walk up with my Texas wedge and Lag one down there, just didn't get close enough as I would have liked. And uh, just line up my par putt here. But unfortunately, I just push it left. Regardless, amateur style, bogey's a good score. Moving on. All right, hole 12, par 5. Definitely a three-shot hole. Always a good thing to get that big tee shot out into play. Just crest up the slope here. Just trying to carry distance at this stage. Hit a really good five wood. Again, really happy with my progress here. Does tail a little bit into the rough, and I just chop one onto the front of the green. You know, green regulation. Tough to complain about that. And I just straight up yank my putt. Probably leaving me these little testers. It's not a great idea. At least five to six foot putts per par. Take my time here and uh, center cup. Right into hole 13, par three. Long par three up the hill. Gigantic rock wall protecting the front of the green. Just want to club down one or two here. Just to make sure to carry it up to the flat. And I meet that goal. It does carry a little bit long. And I hit it a little bit thin back across the green. Do give myself a par putt, which I then just leave short. But bogey, amateur style. It's a good thing. All right, hole 14, par four. Just wanted to at least get one little picture of one of the old rail cars. So again, this is an old mountaintop removal coal mine, so regardless to that, straight away par four, just miss that bunker on the left and you're good. And I end up doing that. Positive. Staying positive. Hit a really clean wedge here, and I really stick it close. And I do not waste that opportunity. Boom. Party bottle time. Great time. Okay, hole 15, par 4. A little bit of a dog leg right to left. Again, if you can't have fun, why are you on the golf course? Let that big dog eat. Just unfortunate here. I did not carry the out of bounds area. So I took my drop, hitting three, downhill slope out of the rough, end up in the bunker, but as in part one, I keep my sand saves in place. Another really good shot, tap that bogey in, great recovery. Hole 16, par five, again, definitely a big three shot hole here. Let that big dog eat. Give you a little 3D experience as that tee flew by your head. 
<laughs> regardless. Ended up well in play there. Again, just trying to carry distance here. Big swing with the five wood. Leave myself a good little number here. Unfortunate that I just hit it chunky. That's the amateur style. But with that amateur style, I have a nice little recovery chip here and give myself that look at par. Happy to have that par putt, and I just, I don't know, we'll call that to the low side, but tap in the bogey. Hole 17 par 4, just climbing back up to the top of the mountain. A little bit of a dog leg left to right, just want to avoid that big fairway bunker, and I easily am able to do that. And, uh, just unfortunately here, I just, uh, Probably should have clubbed down one. Didn't learn my lesson from earlier, but get a nice little recovery chip here. Just always want to give myself those looks at pars. And uh you know zoom that one on by. Really is uh the amateur style leaving myself these little testers. Four to five footers. The knee knockers. Here, good bogey. Okay, so 18 par four, pretty much straight away as you see. A little bit of a change of a camera angle, just uh, trying new things here in the vlog. Regardless, uh, put one really good out there. Just want to avoid that lake on the left, which unfortunately leads me to open my club face more towards the right. So I'm right. So I'll leave myself this downhill little test of a chip. Probably should have tried to get it in there really close, but give myself that look at par, and it's a great finish. No complaints. So uh, this has been part two of this GOB course vlog here at Twisted Gun in West Virginia. Played some good golf, played some bad golf, but all in all, still had a great day. If you've enjoyed this content, give it a like. If you want to see more golf content, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Everyone have a great day. Just a closing remark of uh, just be kind to each other and uh, get out there, play more golf, have more fun. Do you want to know?